Welcome to the Silver Reports Weekly Wrap Up, where we take a look at a few of the biggest stories that impacted the financial markets over the past week. On Monday, the Dow closed down 208 points. The markets were brought down by unfavorable news by NVIDIA and Caterpillar. NVIDIA provided investors with a negative outlook for its fourth quarter earnings, and Caterpillar had an EPS miss. Caterpillar missed earnings per share estimates by 43 cents, but revenue of $14.3 billion was in line with analyst estimates, and Whirlpool beat EPS estimates by 52 cents, but missed on revenue by $100 million. On Tuesday, the Dow closed up 51 points. The markets were on edge, awaiting Apple's earnings. Apple did beat EPS estimates by a penny, and revenue estimates by $330 million, but sales in China did decline by 26% for the company. eBay beat EPS estimates by $0.03 cents and revenue estimates by $20 million. Verizon beat EPS estimates by $0.03, cents but missed revenue estimates by $160 million. Pfizer beat EPS and revenue estimates by a penny and $80 million respectively, and AMD's earnings per share was in line with analyst estimates, but the company missed revenue estimates by $20 million. On Wednesday, the Dow closed up 434 points. The markets were anticipating Facebook's earnings and Facebook didn't disappoint. Facebook beat EPS estimates by 20 cents and revenue estimates by $510 million. So much for delete Facebook. Tesla missed EPS estimates by 27 cents but beat on revenue by $110 million. Visa beat revenue estimates by $90 million and EPS estimates by 5 cents. Alibaba beat EPS estimates by $0.09, but missed on revenue by $380 million. Microsoft beat EPS estimates by a penny, but missed on revenue by $40 million. AT&T's earnings per share was in line with analyst estimates, but the company missed on revenue by $510 million. PayPal beat EPS estimates by $0.02, and revenue of $4.2 billion was in line with analyst estimates. McDonald's beat EPS estimates by $0.08, but missed on revenue by $10 million. Qualcomm beat EPS estimates by $0.11, but missed revenue by $80 million dollars and Boeing beat EPS estimates by 91 cents and a revenue by 1.4 billion dollars. On Thursday the Dow closed down 15 points. The markets were unable to continue the rally from Wednesday. In earnings news on Thursday, Amazon beat EPS estimates by 39 cents and revenue estimates by 520 million dollars. GE had a day after reporting an EPS miss but a revenue beat of 1 billion dollars. Wall Street went bullish on the stock. Celgene beat EPS estimates by 7 cents and revenue estimates by 50 million dollars. Mastercard beat EPS estimates by 3 cents and revenue of 3.8 billion dollars was in line with analyst estimates. Nintendo's sales rose to 3.4 billion dollars and revenue for the full year rose to 16 billion dollars. UPS beat EPS estimates by 4 cents but missed on revenue by 120 million dollars. Valero beat EPS estimates by 4 billion dollars and beat EPS estimates by a dollar and 5 cents. On Friday, the Dow closed up 64 points. The market bulls were inspired by the U.S. jobs number. The U.S. added 304,000 jobs. Amazon continued to slide on Friday, losing 5% of its value. In earnings news, ExxonMobil beat EPS estimates by 23 cents but missed revenue estimates by $630 million. Chevron reported earnings per share of $1.95 and revenue of $42 billion was in line with analyst estimates. Sony reported earnings per share of $3.02 and missed on revenue estimates by $2.4 billion. And Merck beat revenue estimates by $50 million and EPS estimates by a penny. Overall, the S&P 500, Dow Jones, and Nasdaq all closed up for the week. In crypto news, Bitcoin continues to trade slightly down and sideways, ending our week at $3,444.16. Ethereum was trading at $106.24, Litecoin was trading at $32.94, and Ripple was trading at $0.30. Crude oil closed up for the week at $55.34 per barrel. A big winner for the week, Facebook, which increased 11% this week after beating analysts' quarterly estimates. A big loser for the week, Bottom Line Technologies, which decreased 16% for the week. Are you signed up for our In Focus article? Every Sunday we take a look at a company or companies that made the news the previous week. We give our opinion on whether the company is a buy, sell, or a hold. Before you hit the buy or sell button on Monday, you should check out In Focus. The link to sign up is in the description below. Thank you for checking out the Silver Reports Weekly Market Wrap Up. This channel is dedicated to anyone who wants to start investing but doesn't know how or where to start. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section. Like and subscribe, and may your next investment be your best investment. See you next week.